My name is Judy Blondell. Today we will discuss using the accountant's copy in QuickBooks. We will show the best method to work with your accountant using QuickBooks. You could use three different methods to get your QuickBooks file to your accountant. You could provide your accountant with a QuickBooks backup file. You could provide your accountant with a QuickBooks portable company file. But the best method to use is a QuickBooks provided accountant's copy. This allows you to continue to use your QuickBooks file while your accountant makes changes to the same file. When you restore the accountant's copy to your computer, instead of overriding the information, the information is merged into your file. QuickBooks does impose restrictions on you and your accountant while the quick accountant's copy is being used to make sure that you and your accountant aren't working against each other. The administrator is the only person that can create an accountant's copy and they must be in single user mode when it is created. The preferred method is send to accountant as this requires fewer user steps. All of the information is transmitted to your accountant and back from your accountant using Intuit's services. To send your accountant's copy, click File, Accountant's Copy, Send to Accountant. During this process, you will be asked for a divide date. We recommend using the first day of your new fiscal year, for example, January 1st, to allow your accountant to post a reversing entry if required. Additionally, you will be asked to provide an encryption password for file transmission. You should share this password with your accountant using a secure method, such as a telephone call or a separate email. You should also include information in the comments about your QuickBooks file such as the version you use and the QuickBooks year. For example, QuickBooks Pro 2013. Your accountant will get the email alerting them of the available file. This file will only be available for 14 days. Your accountant will be working on your file and you should be able to work with your QuickBooks file on transactions dated after the divide date, as previously discussed. Before you begin an accountant's copy, be sure that all users have logged out of your company. Also, save any windows and desktops so that they will be as you like them when you reopen the program, they will remain as you like to use them. In the Preferences menu, select Save Current Desktop. To begin the process, select Accountant's Copy from the File menu. Then Send to Accountant. You will see a confirming window open that tells you Send Accountant's Copy with an explanation of what happens next. QuickBooks will require you to enter the dividing date as mentioned previously. There is also an explanation of what takes place in your company file while the accountant is working in it. Click on Next. In this window, you will need to have your accountant's email address, which will need to be entered twice, along with your own name. Click Next. In the last window, you will need a password to encrypt your file. This can be your admin password, but the password suggested by QuickBooks is seven characters with one digit and one capital letter.
There is a space to send your accountant a note, but do not include your password in this area. As stated before, send your password in a separate email or a phone call. Click on Send. You will now receive a message from QuickBooks telling you that it must close all windows to create the accountant's copy. Click OK. When the file has been successfully uploaded, your accountant will be notified and you will be able to download your file. Click OK. You will also receive an email from Intuit with information about your file, when it expires, how to convert the file when your accountant sends it back, and a help area if you need assistance. This is what happens if you attempt to post a transaction before the divide date. Warning, an accountant's copy has been created from this port of company file. While your accountant is working on your file, you, cannot, you can only work on transactions dated after 1114. And the transaction is handled normally for a transaction after the divide date. Now let's see what happens after your accountant has completed his work. If you have more than one company file, be sure you are in the same company as the one you are converting. Under the file menu again, select accountant's copy, then open and convert transfer file. Windows will close all of your open windows and display a window showing the flow of your file. Click Next. Next will be an explanation of cans and cannots regarding your accountant's copy. Click Next and your desktop window will open. Locate the file your accountant has returned and double click on it. This will be a QBY file. A window reading incorporate accountant's changes will open so that you will be able to see all of the changes that have been made to your file along with any notes your accountant has sent. You may also save the report to a PDF file or print the report before you import the changes. Click on Incorporate Accountant's Changes and you will get a walkthrough from QuickBooks to back up your current file before you import and merge the changes. Thank you for watching. If you would like more information about this lesson or other QuickBooks functions, please visit our website www.quicktrainacademy.com to read our blog on creating an accountant's copy.